everybody. Welcome back to Teach Me to Science. My name is Saren and today we're going to be talking about activation energy and catalysts. Like always, I'm going to define activation energy and catalysts and then we're going to talk about how they work. So first, let's talk about what activation energy is. Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required for a reaction to occur successfully. If you remember when we talked about collision theory, we talked about the different things that atoms need for a reaction to occur. One of them was that atoms need to collide with enough energy for a reaction to occur. This amount of energy is called activation energy. It's also known as the energy barrier because if there's not enough energy, the reaction won't occur. All right, now that we know what activation energy is, let's talk about catalysts. A catalyst is a molecule which speeds up the reaction time. A catalyst does this by lowering the amount of activation energy required for a reaction to occur successfully. Just to be clear here, the energy that we're talking about is Gibbs free energy. There are a couple of really important things I want to make note of here before we talk about how a catalyst lowers the activation energy. So the first thing is that catalysts do not make reactions spontaneous. If a reaction isn't spontaneous before the addition of a catalyst, then it's not spontaneous after the addition of a catalyst. A catalyst can make a reaction occur on a more biologically relevant time scale. What I mean by this is that if a reaction typically takes a hundred years for it to occur, a catalyst could make it occur in, say, a year or so. This is just an example. How quickly a catalyst works depends on the reaction and the catalyst. Another important note is that catalysts do not actually participate in the reaction, and they're not used up during the reaction. So if I have the reaction A plus B plus C goes to A, B plus C, the catalyst is C because it's not used up in the reaction. Now let's talk about how a catalyst actually does the lowering of the activation energy. A catalyst lowers the activation energy of a reaction by creating a new pathway. This could mean that the catalyst creates new reaction steps, which would be like splitting one big step that requires a lot of energy into two little steps that require less energy. A catalyst could also physically help the molecules find each other which would lower the activation energy. This is called a chaperone. All right, that's all I have for today on activation energy and catalysts. I hope you found this video helpful. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Bye.